several WWE contracts expiring soon. Alexis Correo here back with some more wrestling talk content on the Alexis Correo brand YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any wrestling talk content in the future. And this is kind of funny being that yesterday I did a video about how WWE's roster is pretty damn big. It's enormous. Over 200 wrestlers, performers under contract at WWE and they're looking to hire even more and more talent and you know they're interested in Matt Riddle who's basically WWE bound they're interested in Juice Robinson who recently said he well to quote him he ain't never going back to WWE but one of the things that uh, came to to my knowledge although you know what's out there for everyone to know is the fact that Guys like AJ Styles, like Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the Good Brothers, and guys like Shinsuke Nakamura, their contracts are coming up very soon. They signed with WWE at the beginning of 2016. We all saw AJ Styles' debut at the Royal Rumble in 2016. And it was reported at that time that they had signed three-year deals with the worldwide leader in sports entertainment. And come January 2019, those deals are up. They're expired. Those three years with the company with WWE are up. And uh, WWE could very well let some of them go. They could uh, start negotiations to keep them on the roster. Or, you know, who knows what's going to happen with those contracts. Another contract that, you know, has been coming up. Another contract that uh, uh, could very well be, ex well, it is expiring very soon in September, uh, September 31st, if I'm not mistaken, is Daniel Bryan's contract. And uh, there haven't been a lot of confirmation as to if he's re-signed with the company, if he's uh, talking with them about an extension, or is he already with the mindset of leaving WWE in hopes that you know, he goes to Ring of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling and really let loose on his style and his wrestling and challenge for the world titles and make money for him and for the company over there. Now, as it pertains to the Daniel Bryan situation, I think he's not going to stay. I think if he, were, if he was going to stay with WWE, he would have already signed a contract extension and... I think WWE is preparing for him to leave, being the fact that they've kind of fast-tracked his feud, his rivalry with The Miz, which could, could have gone on for a lot more time, for a lot more weeks and months, and they just fast-tracked it. Yes, they do need uh, main, main event matches, they do need, they do need high-caliber matches for SummerSlam, but I still get that kind of feeling right now, and honestly, if it were up to me, I really hope Daniel Bryan does leave because, you know, you know me, you guys know me. I want talent to help other com companies, other promotions gain a fan base, keep a fan base, earn money, you know, become bigger, become better. That's what I want for the other companies, for Ring of Honor, for New Japan, for Impact, all of them. That's what I want. So, pretty much, that pretty much answers uh, the whether I want. Styles, Nakamura, and the Good Brothers to stay with WWE. And look, like I said, would I love for the Good Brothers and AJ Styles to go to Impact or to New Japan? I would absolutely love for them to show up there. Would I love for Nakamura to go back to New Japan Pro Wrestling? Yes, he is a New Japan guy. But, like I said in the video yesterday, WWE is the major league WWE offers big money deals and I'm not saying New Japan doesn't offer big money deals I'm not saying Impact doesn't offer big money deals but the fact is the budget that WWE has is 10 times bigger than any other company in the world and that plays a huge factor and the fact of the matter is when you're putting your body on the line when you're putting your livelihood and your career on the line 
every single night at every single event or every single week on Raw, SmackDown, or every pay-per-view, you want to re be rewarded the most you can. And there is no bigger stage than WWE, both in money and, and, and audience watching, both in the arena and outside of it. So I think uh, AJ Styles is going to stay with the company. He's expressed it in the past before. He loves being in WWE. And he said in the past he wants to retire with WWE and, you know, work with WWE for the foreseeable future. The Good Brothers, uh, they've kind of been misused. By WWE, they haven't been used to their full potential. I would absolutely enjoy for them and Nakamura to go back to New Japan or to go back to somewhere else and be used to their full potential because I think that's what they deserve. So, you know, that's what I think about the contract extensions, the contract expiring, I should say, the contracts expiring of these individuals, of these wrestlers. But, you know, like I said, that's my stance. What do you think? Who do you think is going to stay with the company? Do you think they're all going to stay? Who do you think is going to leave? Who would you like? Uh, for them to stay, who would you like for of them to leave, and to where do you want them to go? Leave your comments below, leave your thoughts below, and don't forget this is the ACB Wrestling Talk channel dealing with news, previews, and discussion Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. That's it for me. Till next time.